Welcome back to the channel. Hey, I want to show you what the problem is with using uh, different kinds of, of translations. Um, I just saw a video of somebody and they're putting out videos talking about the new moon is the full moon based on uh, the ASV version of Song 81. And I want to show you the, the, the error in this because this is, this is why people go to uh, different versions of translation because there's many of them that are flawed but if you got something you want to prove and you know, or an agenda you can find a scripture to spin or to, to bend it your way do you know there's a there's a homosexual bible now the queer uh, the queer gospels or something like that I, really and they take the word and they twist it to make it to, to make it say what they want to say now psalm 81 in the American Standard Version, which is a flawed version, says at verse 3, blow the trumpet at the new moon, comma, at the full moon, comma, and on the feast day, period. These are three different times. This is not all the same time. And I can show you that if you go to the King James Version of Psalm 81, verse 3, it says, blow the trumpet at the new moon, comma, in the appointed time, comma, on the solemn feast day, period. You see the difference there? They inserted a full moon in the appointed time, which is incorrect. Folks, new moon does not mean full moon. And the Passover is not in May. The first month is not in May. The first month is, is Abib, and the seventh month is Rosh Hashanah, the, the blowing of the trumpets. Someone had uh, cited this as if it was part of the Passover, saying here, uh, on the first day of the month. But what month is this? It's the seventh month talking about here. Has nothing has rest. nothing to do with Passover. Blowing of trumpets is Yom Turah. So um, that's just a little example of how someone can take uh, scriptures or mistranslations of scripture and spin it the way they want to spin it. A new moon is not a full moon. Call your local weather station and get on the phone with a meteorologist and ask them. Or call your local college or someone that knows anything about farming or meteorology and asks them when the new moon is. Shalom and have a good day.